Hey, if this is your first time catching one of our videos, my name is Becca Perry. I'm part of the social tech team and we like to bring you tips and tricks and all the things when it comes to social uh, media and technology and trying to help you as a solopreneur. And if you're like, what is that? We serve people who are in business for themselves. So if it's just you or maybe you and one other person, maybe you're a boutique owner or you're a direct seller or social seller or in a multi-level marketing business, whatever it is, and it's, it's pretty much just you. That's who we are here to serve because we know that it's hard to keep up with all the changing technology and oh goodness, let's not even talk about all the changes on social media and you can't keep up with that and also run your business. So that's what we're for. We're kind of your go-to gals when it comes to that te technology and social media aspect of your business. If you've never heard of the Social Tech Academy, I'd love to invite you after this is over to go um, to our link in our bio and check out the details. You just click on that link and it will take you over to our website and just some more details about what's all, all the benefits of being in the Social Tech Academy. It's a membership group and we would love to serve you there. One of the common mistakes that you might be doing in stories is not integrating stickers to make your story interactive. So you might be thinking you're doing this, but I wanna talk about a mistake, not just you may not be doing this, but you might be doing it wrong. So for example, you are doing your workout or you've got a picture of you and you use the sticker that says, you know, are you ready to start working out? But the answers, instead of yes or no, or whatever you're saying, maybe send me more info. I mean, <laughs> I'm probably not gonna tap on either one of those because I feel like it's a little bit of a clickbait on my end as the person watching the story. Have you ever seen those before? So people are probably not tapping on those. So if they're not and you're using that kind of thing, I'm gonna encourage you to use the stickers in a different way. Ask questions that are, that are easy to answer. You know, fun things that are pertinent to your niche. So the people that you're trying to reach, the people that you're speaking their language, ask them questions. And it can be a still picture, it's fine, but you can just do yes or no. But make sure the questions are not, the, the answers, excuse me, in the poll, are that it doesn't give the people a feeling that you're kind of baiting them so that you can send them some type of video or something about your business. Now, I'm not saying people are never gonna want that, but I'm saying when you're using the stickers, let's make it fun. The point of the stickers is to make it interactive and fun. All right. So make sure you're using those stickers in the right way, but definitely use them, um, not on every single um, story, but almost on a daily basis, you wanna be using some interactive stickers. And I'm not just talking about the poll, um, use the question sticker. A, a very common thing I'm seeing right now is ask me anything or ask me um, anything related to, and you fill in the blank. So if you're, um, maybe if you're in the fashion industry, jewelry or something like that, you might say, ask me your questions about upcoming trends. What questions do you have about trending fashion? Or now the average person probably doesn't even know what to ask you, right? So, um, you know, you have to word that in such a way that you're actually speaking to the common person in your niche. But use that question sticker. Um, and when you ask a question, you know, ask easy questions because you don't want to ask something where you're asking people to bare their soul. I mean, most people are not going to take the time to type that out. Um, some great questions that you can ask in that poll sticker is, um, you know, tell me something that you don't like that is that would be an unpopular thing. So if, you know, if the whole big thing is this certain show everybody's watching on Netflix and everybody's talking about it and you particularly hate that show, um, you can ask, you know, what's an, what's an opinion you have that's un, that would be unpopular with the general public? So you get the idea. So use those stickers. Um, I use little stickers. This is not engagement necessarily, but I go out on my porch a lot for my other account and I'll post, you know, the temperature or I'll ask, are you a morning person or a night owl? Things like that. Just to try to get to know the audience. All right, let's go. Sorry, I put my glasses on. Let's go to the next one. Another one is that you are not sharing. I'm trying to make myself move, but it's not going to let me. Okay. That you're not um, using video and you're sharing too many still images. 
raise your hand if you're guilty. Um, don't want to put you on the spot, but I want to gently nudge you, strongly encourage you, I should say. This is something that, how can I say it? When I go into stories and I come across accounts when I'm tapping and I mean, I start going double time when it is just graphic after graphic after graphic, especially if it's product and I'm never hearing their voice. I'm never seeing their face. It is just absolutely one big commercial. That's what it feels like. Now, if you're the person doing that, it may not feel that way to your to you because you're thinking it's such a great deal. I want to let my people know about it. There are many ways to let people know about what's happening in your industry, in your business. If there's a sale or a great promotion and all that kind of stuff, there are other ways to do it. One way is to flip the camera and do what I'm doing right here. And that's talk to those people in your stories. You have to remember stories. They're the people who are already following you most likely, unless someone shared you with their friend. More than likely, it is a follower. They already are connected. They already love you. They already like you. They, they, they're here for you. But if all you do is share those still images, it gets super boring. It gets super boring. And I'm very famous for <laughs> tapping right on through that. As a matter of fact, if I tap a few times and all I'm seeing is still images, especially a product, then I do the swipe. So I've not only tapped through the story, I swiped off of their account and that's not what you want. You want to keep people on your account and you want to keep them engaged. And so I just gave some examples there. Deb and I try to give out tips. We do things like what we're doing right here. And we also do silly ones. If you're not a silly person, you don't have to dance on Instagram, right? But you can show up and you can talk to people. And if you're thinking, Becca, what would I talk about? The answer is anything and everything. There are no rules, like real hard and fast rules when it comes to stories. You really do need to be showing up um, in video. All right, so let's keep going. Another one is, I see this a lot, and um, there's a couple of things that drives me crazy. One is when people tag other people and put it too close to the edge. So if you're putting your... Um, polls or your question sticker, any of the stickers really, even the at mention, which means if I am tagging um, someone else, if I tag Deb in a video and, or on my story and I put it too close to the edge and then my follower tries to tap on that, they can't tap it. It'll just go to the next story. Or if you put it too far on the other side and you tap, though, it'll go back to the last story. You see what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you keep things um, you don't have to keep them exactly in the center. Definitely not. It's it's different than Reels because Reels kind of has that you know small window frame that you got to keep things in. But stories, you just don't want it too far on the edge. So keep things you know in the center area, and that way you're good to go. Especially if you're using stickers. So if you're at if you're using a poll and you do like that blue screen down there where it shows it off to the right. When people try to tap on it, it's just going to go to the next story and then it's useless. So be sure you're putting the placement of your stickers and your at mentions, if you're putting them on the screen, make sure they're somewhere in that middle area because you do not, you do not want that to um, deter people. And honestly, if you've done that several times, people quit looking at your stuff because they're like, that girl, she does not know what she's doing. But we know if you're watching this, you know what you're doing. All right. Uh, la, la, la. Let's see. Sorry. Yes, this one. Only sharing feed posts to your stories. So if you're very famous for um, sharing other people's quotes to your story, that's not a bad thing, but you don't want it to be all you're doing. So you see there it says only. Only sharing feed posts to stories, whether it's your feed post, our feed post, someone else's feed post. If, if that's pretty much all you do in your story, I mean, you're, you're missing out on an opportunity to connect with your followers. And not only that, you're probably boring them and they're probably swiping right past your content, which honestly, that's not content. The other thing I want to um, alert you to is also if you do share a, a feed post to your story, it's wonderful if you can put some context to it. So not only share but you might say, like if you were to share that with your followers, um, 
I mean, I don't know if that's something, whoops, I may not be something good for your niche, but um, let's just say it was a quote or something. You would add some text to give some context to why this particular post is something that you feel that they need to see. So what you have to remember is your stories, actually anything you do on Instagram needs to be about them. Just like this video you're watching, this video is not about the social tech team. This video is about you. It's about helping you um, keep from making certain mistakes in your stories so that you can be better in your stories. And that's what we want for you on your account. You've got to really start thinking about why you're on here, why you're posting, why you're sharing anything. And if you're going to share a feed post to your story, it's really great if you can give some context, even if it's a quote. Now, I won't say that we do that every single time, um, but it, it begins to look lazy on our part or your part if we're sharing feed posts to stories with no context, and we do it a lot. That's going to look really, really lazy to our followers, and they're probably just going to keep, you know, swipe on past us. So we don't want to do that. Um, give context. Maybe, you know, say, I love following these girls. They always give the greatest tips. Or this is one of my favorite quotes. Have you ever read it before? Have you ever seen it before? Have you ever heard it before? That kind of thing. Um, so those are things to keep in mind. Here's what I'm going to leave you with for today. You hear us say this all the time. And if there was any piece of advice that I could give to you is um, consistency in your stories is really important because you want your little bubble to keep going to the front of the line there on the top of your followers um, story feed at the top of their screen, right? And the way to do that is to show up throughout the day. Now, we all, just like us, I don't think we've done that all day long today. And a lot of times we get so busy with our head down trying to get a task done that we don't do that. And some days it's okay. So give yourself some grace, but don't use the excuse that you don't have time because quite frankly, stories are not meant to be perfected. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up your story, flip that camera so it's face to camera and push the button, share it, whatever it is that you wanna share. You're not rehearsing, you're not trying to get it perfect. Even if you flub up your words, which I do all the time, then a lot of times I'll be like, well, you know, and then I just cut it off and then I come right back on. But I go ahead and post it. I don't try to get it perfect and record and re-record and re-record until it sounds perfect because by the time I've done it three or four times, and I've done that, it sounds too rehearsed. It sounds not real. It doesn't sound like my authentic self. And that's how you want to show up in your stories is just as you are, um, flaws and all, all, flaws and all, because that's why people like us. That's why people like you. They're like, oh, she's just like me. She messes up her words. She stumbles over her words. She's not perfect. I like her. But if you come across as too perfect and too rehearsed in your stories, over time, people are going to kind of see that and think, mm, you know, I can't relate to that. She's so perfect all the time. So show up in your stories using video and it literally will take you 15 seconds because I'm going to just remind you one last time, don't keep re-recording. Re That's when you start wasting your time. Just hit the button, say what it is you want to say, and then get off and post it or save it as a draft and, you know, post it later if you want to. But again, the uh, last thing I'll leave you with, the very last thing I'll leave you with, I said that before, didn't I, is... Um, what do you want to post on stories? Anything and everything. So you want a variety of things. You don't want completely random things, but if you visit a really beautiful place, people want to see that. They want to know what's happening. You don't have to post in real time. So if it's a vacation, just you know, record some and save it for later. But um, these common mistakes I've shared today, I hope that if you're making them, you can make some tweaks in what you're doing so that you can show up better in your stories and keep people on your account so they're not swiping past you. Mm -hmm.